this TV. I think I'll throw that in, Shane. That's some vintage goodness right there. Oh! <laughs> Six hundred is your final answer. Yeah. Are you sure? Like in between five hundred to six hundred. Okay. So if it's over six hundred dollars, you lose. Uh, not unless it's six. Uh, not unless it's in cents. So how about this? We're gonna put this fifty dollars down. And if it's under six hundred bucks, you get the fifty dollars. If it's over six hundred dollars, the fifty dollars goes back to this pot. Okay. Hi everybody, how are we doing today? Hopefully you're having a wonderful, wonderful day. In this video one, we get to go back to the unit and see how much more money we can find. And we also count how much money we actually found in this unit. We'll give you a grand total, not just of the first time, but the second time. So, once again, I appreciate you all watching. If you haven't subscribed, I don't know what you're waiting for. Subscribe, hit that bell, it's free. Get all your notifications. I appreciate you guys so much. And don't forget, give us a thumbs up, watch the video from beginning to end, help out the algorithm, and enjoy the video. Find out how much money we find today. Holy change. Two dollars. Oh my gosh, how much money are we going to find in this place? It just keeps going. And going. And going. And guys, this adds up quick. Trust me. Like right there. A 20, a 5, and a bunch of singles. So I don't know. We'll count it later. How many lottery tickets? You gotta look through every little piece.
see what's in this box. Looks like a TV. It is a TV. I was thinking maybe it wasn't, so make them up. TV. Ooh. The shoe box. Oh. Man, there's a lot more stuff to go through. This is all extension cord. <laughs> and here we go again. Wow, wow, wow. Oh, I am in shock at all. It's just like fold up between the paper. It's gonna be interesting to see what our total amount is. Pictures, but I definitely see some money in here. Oh man. Wow, wow, wow. Singles, fives, more fives. Unbelievable. Can we handle one more? Change down here. Change, change, change. I just can't believe what we're finding. Brand new gloves. More gloves. Some old falling apart books, probably religious books. Check every envelope. I found two hundred dollars on a birthday card. Oh, I thought that was money right there. Okay, steel bag. Over washing. Mouse is definitely in here. Oh, 
for us. Glass. Decorama. These are wooden wall sconces. Photo book. Christian Dior. Nineteen sixty class. Glenville High School. Avon to go valet. Some old goggles there. Uh, change. The PVA. I'll never stop loving you. Little necklace. Got a pin. Bracelet. Scrapbook. Black Athletes by Golf Oil Corporation. Second annual edition, 1971. Fire at last. Blue lights. Some of these albums could be worth some money. These blue albums. All right. Thanks. Screwdriver. Oh. Ooh, 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 ooh. What is this? What is this? Oh, ooh, ooh. this might be the case here. Locked. Hallelujah, Hollywood. Definitely some vintage stuff in here. Let's see. Doesn't feel like anything in there. Ah. Oh. This one felt empty. This one, maybe, just maybe. Oh man, come on! Really? I figured in the lock case we'd have something. Oh ho! There's more. There's more. Uh oh. That's an adult magazine there. Uh-oh. Then we got another adult magazine there. Penthouse. So this is some kind of set. We got in here. Oh, we got a little set here. 
here called on. Got a dime and a nickel. Nothing too great. Some cologne. More pennies. Alright, we finally made it into the unit. There's lots and lots of uh, paper. Newspaper. 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 Oh, look at this. Nice. And some amber glass there. Ooh, look at all that Pyrex down there. Some vintage Pyrex. Got one piece of Pyrex right there. See that? Ooh, and that's been set. We got two of the bowls at least. Definitely some vintage goodness. Over here. Tools. More tools. Things loaded with tools. Newspaper. We got some nice wooden chairs over here. dryer, a refrigerator, huge heavy bed, adjustable bed frames and got all that stuff out there. We got $92 at the scrap here. Now we got to see what else we got in. Empty. Has empty cassettes in it. We got this trunk and I can't wait to see what's inside there. Definitely was a mouse in here. I just hope the mouse didn't get to one of these ones that has money, you know. See all this paperwork we're gonna have to go through with a fine tooth comb. Make sure there's no money in there. It's kind of an odd shaped bottle. A track. Oh, look right there. Money, money, money. Something nice. We got a jump rope. Books. That's an old Kitty City bag. That's just too awesome. There's flashes. A piece for a jewelry box. Grover Washington, more a -play. No cards. Flashes, well, there's definitely lots of change in this bag. Dirty money. Speaking of dirty money. Oh, no way. Brand new yards. <clears throat> new old stock. That's pretty awesome. 
And these are banned from eBay. You gotta be careful selling these, but. Oh, nice. New old stock, world class Frisbee, whammo. There's a day down here. There's these champion people down here. Oh, that's Frisbee golf. What else we got here? Got an old racket. Looks like a, thing, a little rolling cart and a thing of chain. Never know what you're going to find. That's really cool. That's cool. I think I found the box earlier. And this looks like all household tools, yard tools, sandpaper, vintage sandpaper. Cool, 45 bucks. The Cleveland Browns, vintage glasses. How many times have we found those? One for every auction. There's some kind of other glasses in here. This feels like it's going to be all, these are all Browns glasses here. So we got a whole set of Browns, we got a whole set of those other glasses. Oh, no way! I saw something cool. Honey, I shrunk the kids and we'll start off with we got some VHS tapes. Oh, yeah. We got the turntable. Oh, it's a whole stereo. That's what the speakers are for, but right here. Atari. Atari, and this is for the 5200, which is worth more. And we got a bunch of games. So that means the system's got to be in here. Heck, man. Oh, Mario Brothers! That might be the first Mario Brothers game ever. We'll have to look up Mario Brothers on 5200. Wow, wow, wow. That Mario Brothers is just too cool. I see a joystick down there for the Atari. Here's another game. Ooh, Jungle Hunt. I know that's a good one. Alright. So we got the speakers on this side. Oh my gosh, look at this TV. I don't think I'll throw that in, Shane. That's some vintage goodness right there. Oh! <laughs> There's the Atari. I don't even look, that doesn't look like a 5200 though. That might be. But look at this. It's an Atari case. Ooh, what's in this box? What year is this paper? 1991. What the heck? It's all canning jars. Empty canning jars. Luckily they're empty, huh, Shane? Thank God. Let's say a junk drawer. Dumped in here. I see spoons and nails and screws. And a bouncy ball. A little glass bottle. And mustard. And, uh, household bags. I feel like I'm back at the hoarder house. Saw some pennies in there. Saw something that looks kind of interesting. Some vintage. 
sausage slicer, dicer. All right, time to see what's gonna try. Woo, it's heavy. Oh, there's a lock on it. Well, another lock trunk. Let's go out there, Shane. Rusty, rusty lock truck. Luckily, it's not going to make or break this. Ooh, this part's going to be close. I have to pop this open. <laughs> no. Why do you lock up records? Let's see, maybe they're worth a lot of money. Maybe there's something else in here besides records. I'm pretty sure that's a pretty good record. Impressions. Once again, if you haven't subscribed, subscribe, hit that bell. It's free. Get all your notifications. You never know what you're going to see. Never know what we're going to find. You might find some tan magazine. Oh, man. Look at this. Vintage sports magazines. Little maze on the cover. 1963. The best in sports. Jimmy Brown, Mickey Mantle. That one's in pretty good shape. Basketball, 6061. Playboy, 1963. Finding some stuff in here. This looks like it's all gonna be paperwork, but we found money in the paperwork, so we're gonna have to go through all of this. I see something here, looks like vintage goodness. Clean Brown's News, 1963. Pretty cool. So, pieces of paper like that. Some kind of stamps here. Definitely a lot of personal paperwork. Stamps, stamps, stamps. Old cards. What's this? These are bank envelopes. Just hoping to find some money in it. And there's a quarter. And a dime. Two dimes. Not the kind of money I was talking about. Here. A lot of other ones we found money in. There's definitely change down here. Piece of jewelry. There's some cufflinks right here. Appraising and selling your coins. Kind of soap. You know, hopefully, this has the coin collection in here. Got some old magazines. There's something down here. World book. It's definitely a world book. Encyclopedia or something. Oh, look at all that change down there. Holy pennies. More jewelry. Another world book, but there's some kind of some kind of box here. Oh, huh. Old newspapers. There's some money in here. Not as much as we found everywhere else. Why did you put a lock on this? There's something we're missing in here. A little bit of jewelry. Bunch of pennies. First, let's count the quarters. 20, 40, 60, 80, 100, 
20, 40, 60, 80, 2, 20, 40, 60, 80, 3, 20, We got 320, 340, 360, 380, 420 dollars. This says old quarters. We'll pick some old. So now you look at this real quick. Maybe they're silver quarters. That'd be worth a lot more money. So how much did I say? 320. 420. Yeah. 1988. That's not old enough. Oh. That's 421 dollars. Poor Chester. He got so excited. Alright. Now it's time to count some cash. First we gotta separate money. There's a five right there. How much money do you think is here? Hmm. Including, the, including or not including the quarters? Wait, I missed quarters. Holy smoke. So that's 431. 432, I mean, uh, 441. So we got $441 in quarters. So including the quarters or not including the quarters? Uh, without the quarters. Well, let's see. There's 100 bucks right there. That's probably another 20. Mm, I want to say like 200 bucks. How much? Around 200. There's 100 right here. There's over a hundred right here. Oh. <laughs> I can't see. Well, you can't see. You blind? Are you blind? Yes. Look at all those points. Look at all this money here. Okay, I want to say like 350. Man. Nah. You're way low. There's 400 some dollars just in quarters. We said not in quarters. I know not including the quarters, but man. There's four hundred some dollars in quarters. Let's four fifty. We'll go there. Four fifty. Yeah. All right. I want to say a thousand dollars. Not including the quarters. Not including quarters. That's my hope. Man, look at all this. So that was part of that thousand. I could feel the bills. You have any idea? Man, there's a lot of money here. It's gonna take probably just a sword at all. Holy smoke. They're gonna be here a while, people. Da, da, da. Oh, I might speed up. I go fast motion for this one. <laughs> Two hundred. Yeah, I'm gonna go solid five hundred on this. <laughs> Final answer. What is five hundred? Like some of this doesn't count. Like. It doesn't count. Well, because if there's any wrecked. One. Oh, money. As long as you can spend it. So if you rip a dollar and a half, does that mean you have two fifty cents? No, it means if you put it together, you get a dollar. Mm -hmm. Exactly. I think you have to have seventy-five percent of the dollar. Anywhere from four hundred to five hundred. Five hundred being the greatest. That's my guess. I'm gonna tell you you're gonna be off. No. No. Mm, no. There's like 520, so it's another 100. Okay, yeah, I wanna say like around 500 bucks. Oh, 550. On. You don't listen to your father, have you? How many times I tell you you're wrong? But how many times have you told me I'm right? I'm telling you today. One thing your father knows is cash and money. finger cramp after counting all this money, you know? That's why they invent, like, money counters. Oh. That you put your money in and count it for you. Oh, you talking about kids? No, actually, I'm talking about an ATM. 
ATM. Yeah. And then you just deposit, deposit all the money out. Boom. Or even go to the bank and they'll have it count it. And then be like, can I have my money back? Can I have my money back? And if they say no, then be like, you just stole money from me. So okay. let's just say we got $500 in change with all this other change. All right, we got more than that. Let's Not included in the quarters. No, I'm saying with the quarters, I'm saying change. Oh, I know, but dollars wise, we're not including the quarters. No, I'm saying we got 500 bucks at least in change. Probably more. Probably almost 600. But let's just say $500 in change. Okay. Okay. You're saying we have $500 in money. Mm, 500, 600. Oh, I keep going up now. Yeah. 600 is fine. I'm done. I'm not going up anymore. 600. You're not going up? No. 600 is your final answer. Yeah. Are you sure? Like in between 500 to 600. Okay. So if it's over $600, you lose. Uh, not unless it's six. Uh, not unless it's in cents. So how about this? We're gonna put this fifty dollars down. And if it's under six hundred bucks, you get the fifty dollars. If it's over six hundred dollars, the fifty dollars goes back to this pot. Okay. What do you think about that? That's fair. Oh my gosh, my hands are tired from. I'm messing around with the money so much. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Fifteen. Fifteen bucks. Well, I'm going to just do this. That's a hundred right there. So we'll we're gonna count that. Well, that's already hundred, so we'll just put that to the side. That's one fifty right there. That's two hundred right there. Eighty-seven, eighty-eight. Eighty-eight. That was $188. You missed what dollar bill? All together, this is about $188. Okay. Plus, we got 100 so we got $288, right? Yep. Now, if we go over here 20, 40, 60, 80, 100, 388. That's 420, right? Sure, yeah. 420. 420, 30, 440, 50, 460, 470, 480, 490, 500. I don't know, man. 600, 601. 500 and 10, 580, 590, 600, 610. Yeah. Ooh. That doesn't 610, belong. 620, 20, 630, mm. 640, 650, 660, 665, 66, 67. So $667. That's like $1,000 in total. Over a thousand dollars in total. So we're looking at over eleven $1 hundred and how much? Sixty seven dollars. Yep. So I would say it's at least it's at least twelve hundred dollars in cash so far that we found and we still got more to go through the unit. Wow, wow, wow. Look at all this money. Alright, this is all the money we found the second time. So let's see how much we got here. Definitely not as much as the first time, but there is some cash in here. Won't even count the change. So we're gonna have to separate it all. Singles, fives, ones. All right, let's start counting the money. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. <laughs> Thank you.
95. We're going to call this 50 right here. It looks like 50 to me. How about this? We'll take 45. So 95 plus 45 is 140 bucks. 140. 140, 150, 160, 170, 180, 190, 195, 205, 225 change Woo so 225 plus about 1200 so i'd say over 1400 dollars from a 410 dollars storage unit most money ever found plus 90 some dollars in scrap plus a few cool items to sell so overall a big win can't go wrong i didn't even have to sell anything to make a profit so i really really enjoy that I appreciate you guys watching. Thank you so much. Don't forget, give us a thumbs up. Check out our other videos and check out our website, www.secondsense.com.